What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David Cantero with InspiredDigital.com, where I drop daily videos on social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash the notifications bell so you're notified every single day I drop a new video. And if you're, again, new, drop me a comment, man. Let me know where you're coming from. Let me know what type of business you're building online and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. I wanna kinda of take you through a quick just rundown of an entire sales funnel, not even just a landing page. I'm gonna walk you through an entire funnel that I just created for one of my social media clients. Um, very basic, very simple, very clean, very straight to the point. Um, and that's how you wanna keep it when it comes to capturing leads online, man. A lot of people try to complicate the damn thing. You got to keep it simple. You got to keep your, your pages looking super clean and basic and, and just with the proper call to actions to get the job done. And if you're driving traffic, if you're doing anything online, what exactly does get the job done mean? Either capture a lead, you're either capturing a lead or you're making a sell. Bottom line, there ain't nothing else. Unless you're you know bringing value and just educating the end, end user then that's kind of something else. But the overall objective, and at the same time, the only reason why you're bringing value and educating the end consumer is so you can ultimately capture the lead or get them to buy something. So at the end of the day, those are the two things you're looking to do online, man. It's either capturing a lead or making a sell. And that's why I use Kartra for freaking everything. Everything, everything, and everything. I use Kartra for everything. So there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.com. There's a fortune day trial. Play around with it. So I'm going to kind of just walk you through. This is a very, very, very good client of mine, a monthly retainer. Um, this client alone pays me a couple thousand a month to run her funnels and run her actual ads. Um, so I'm going to take you through what I was able to do just this, this past weekend and just put together a bunch of different pages um, for her properties that she's you know, actually looking to sell. Okay, so I'm actually logging into um, her account. So let me go ahead and get into her Kartra account. And then I'm going to simply, let me go here and let me just show you a rundown of what I put together for her, okay? So it all starts with the objective. You know, what are we looking to do? Are we looking to capture leads? Are we looking to make a sell? Kartra is mainly good for those of you that are selling digital products. If you're selling like a digital course or a digital book, like a digital ebook, that's what I use Kartra for. I use Kartra to sell my digital book and I use Kartra to sell my membership course. Okay. But I also use it for my landing pages, my email autoresponder, my calendar, and my affiliate marketing. So I use it for a lot more, but when it comes to a lot of my clients, for example, um, it's really just the landing page and the calendar and the email autoresponder. That's the main, main, those are the main three that I use for, for my clients. And that's the main thing that you'll be using for all of your clients if you're servicing clients. So if you guys are, you know, freelancers or building any kind of social media agency and you have clients, um, that's mainly what you'll use Kartra for: landing pages, the email autoresponder, and um, and 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 the calendar. Okay, if you're going for appointments, you know the calendar, the ability to to use the calendar and schedule appointments from the Kartra calendar is freaking powerful. I love the calendar that's inside of Kartra. Um, so what I put together here over the last just literally couple of days, it actually took me one day to tell you the truth. It took me yesterday. I spent probably mm, probably a good two hours just putting together all of these different pages and let me just open up a few of these and here's what i did also let me let me show you how how i made it even even easier for myself um and how i just simply cloned it and i duplicated what i had already created let me pull up this real quick let me um so this is where a video of her is going to go. And I'll, show, I'll give you guys the, 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 the details and the real, you know, big picture of all of this here. Let me just open up all the pages. So all I'm doing is I'm opening up 
I'm opening up all the pages that go inside of this funnel, okay? It's really only three pages, okay? That's all it is. So let me... Let me pull up all three. Okay, cool. So I got all three pages. So here's what I did. It started with those three. Now this is th this is a particular project where we're selling six houses. So this is a real estate agent. Um, she has six different properties and I created six different funnels for each property. Okay, but what I really did is I simply, let's just look at these three right here. So if we look at if we look at, let me show you. Okay, so if we look at 4041 Arbor Lake, 4041 Arbor Lake, and 4041 Arbor Lake, that's where it started, okay? That's where it started. So what I did is I simply created one. And so here, in fact, let me show you, let me show you that one just so you can really see what I'm talking about. Let me pull up this page. Okay. So here is this page, and this is where it started. So it started by simply creating this page right here, okay? Simple landing page. This image is, a, is, a, is an image of the actual property, okay? This is the actual property, a, a picture of the actual property she's selling. And then this is a simple headline. Get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your appointment before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points, first name, email, and phone number. Show me more. Once they click on show me more, then they go to this one right here. Thank you for inquiring. And this will be a video of her. Okay. This is my client. This will be about a, a one to two minute video of her. What she'll be doing in this video is simply introducing herself, thanking the prospect for opting in, and then telling them what to do next. Click here to schedule a call or private showing, okay? So what happens is they end up clicking here and they go straight to her calendar, okay? This is her calendar right here. A person can choose their time zone and schedule an appointment, okay? So this is a Kartra calendar. This is all inside of Kartra. They schedule the appointment. Once they schedule the appointment, they can click on any time. They schedule the appointment. They enter their name, email, and phone number. Submit. Once they click submit, then they go to this thank you page. Thank you for scheduling. Look, looking forward to speaking with you soon. Please check email for confirmation. That's it, you guys. That is a simple funnel. It goes from the landing page to the thank you of her on video. Now this right here is where the, is, is where the real credibility comes. We could put a, a, a random image of the property. How boring would that be? But if, but, but if this could be an actual video, hey, this is Stacy. just wanted to say thank you and introduce myself. I've been in the industry for blah, blah, blah. And you simply just introduce yourself and then you thank them for opting in and then you tell them what to do next. Hey, and by the way, Schedule your call now and your private showing. This house is going to sell super fast. Make sure you're on the list. I can't wait to speak with you. You know, so it's just simple. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you for scheduling. Okay. So this right here, you guys, is what I've created. And I, and I did it six times. So here's what I did. I created it once. Okay. I created it once. So let's just say this one. Here is this one right here. Here is the thank you where her video is at. And here is the thank you page for scheduling. Okay, so it's really just those three pages. What I did is I simply created it one time. And then I came over here to the three lines and I cloned it. And, I, and, and, and when you clone it, all you're doing is duplicating it. You're not duplicating all three. I had to clone all three, which is fine. It takes one second. Um, but I cloned this one, I cloned this one, I cloned this one. And all I did is I changed the title. And then, so, so I ended up cloning that first one. Actually, let me show you this one. Let me open it up this way. So I cloned the first one. And all I did is I created it for the second one. 
And so here is the second one. Same template, same everything, but I'm gonna be changing out these bullet points today. So I'll be working on that today, changing out the bullet points. But same headline, same everything, because this is already a high converting landing page. So I don't need to change anything. Just change the bullet points, the three bullet points, and then I change the image of the background. This image is the property that's for sale. Okay, so let me show you another one. And all I did is I, I did that, and then I cloned it again. And then boom, I cloned it again. I cloned the all three pages, and, I, and all I did is I simply went in, and let me show you how I changed the image. So here is the third clone. And this background image is the image of the property for sale. Okay, so very, very basic, man. Very clean, very simple, you know, get instant access. So this is coming from a Facebook ad, from a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad. Um, that's what I'll, be, uh, what I'll be running for her, our Facebook and Instagram ads, driving traffic to this one specific page. Okay, getting people to opt in. Okay, now what I also wanted to show you was let's say for example so i cloned it again cloned it again cloned it again cloned it again even cloned the thank you page okay and then all i had to do was just use one of these thank you for scheduling because this thank you for scheduling is tied to the calendar so as long as they they hit this button right here this red one this is linking to the calendar and then this thank you page is tied to the calendar so I didn't have to clone the thank you page six times. Um, I just needed I just needed one. I just needed one because it's tied to the same calendar, and people are clicking the red button to schedule it, schedule it on that calendar, and it's going to that same thank you page, which is fine. Okay, so um, again over here, cloned it again, and this is another picture of the property. And let me show you how I actually changed out the image. So let me open up one in the edit, in the, in the, in the edit builder. So this right here, clean image of the kitchen, right? Um, same headline, same everything. And that's why, man, working with one niche is powerful. You want to find your one niche because once you find that one niche, you can just simply cookie cutter everything else. You can use the same damn template and just change out a few of the bullets or, or change out the image, which I'll show you how to do. And, and once you find that winning and converting page, you don't need to change much, man. And you can just keep it going like a freaking machine and bring on another client, bring on another client, bring on another client. And, and, and you know the targeting, you know the page, you know the template, you know all that stuff already. You don't have to change much up. Now, if I'm doing this for a real estate agent, and then also I have another client that happens to be a freaking contractor, like, and then I have another client that happens to be a chiropractor, and then I have another client that's a restaurant. It's like, dude, you're changing up so much shit. It's so time consuming. No wonder you're thinking you got to hire people, you know, but if you can keep it on one niche and have cookie cutter templates for every client and, and only have to change out an image, that's when shit gets easy. And that's what you want, man. So you want to focus on one niche for sure. So let me show you what it looks like in the builder. So if I go into any of these any of these pages, actually, you know what? Let me clone it. Let me clone it so you know what I'm talking about. So if I click on this and I click on clone, all I, all I have to do, so it's telling me right here that it's a clone. But all I got to do is simply change the text, and I can go to one two one two one two test app, and then I can and then I can I can make it in that same category. So this category. Kartra allows you to group all of your pages. So if this is if these are all pages for listings, okay, great. And then we'll create a bunch of other pages for potential um, um, buyers. We can create a whole new category and have a bunch of pages inside of that category. Um, in fact, let me do it right now. I can create a new category, and I'll name this category buyers test. And then all I do is click add, and then boom, there it is there. And then I hit done. And now it brings me back to the to the clone page. There's the title, and then I drop down and go to buyer's test, and then I clone. 
So that right there, you guys, is all you got to do to duplicate the same exact thing. I'm talking about everything as far as the Facebook pixel, the settings, the image, everything is cloned. Everything is duplicated. Okay, so now it's up to me to come into this new one, this new clone, and then change out a few things if I need to, which I do. I need to change out the image. I'll probably have to change out um, the title of the page. So let me show you how to do that. So now I'm in the new clone. Now I'm in the new page. This is for a new, a new property, for example. So what I want to do is I want to change for sure the title of the page. You see up here, please schedule appointment, strategy call. Thank you for scheduling. These are all the titles of the page. So when you come into a new page, it's bringing everything over. It's bringing everything over. So I want to come in and do some editing. So I'm going to change the title. SEO parameters, and I'm going to title it one two one two one two test app. So that could be, you know, the title. And then I come down here and click apply. Then what I can do is I can just hover over any anything, any of these elements, hover over any of them, and I can change the text. Spacious living room and huge remodeled kitchen, super legit. I can just Write that in right there. And then I can change this background image. Let's say I wanted to change the background image. I just hover over right here. Here's a little wheel over here. So you want to look around, see where that wheel is. I click on the little pencil. And then I go to background. And then I can image select. And I can either upload from, from my library that's already here. These are all images that I already have on other pages. So I can grab any of these images. Let me show you here. Damn, my bad, you guys. This Wi-Fi is just whack right now. Let me. Okay, so let me turn off my Wi-Fi here. Okay, perfect. So these are all images that are on other pages, or I can search. I could search, and Karcher will bring up a bunch of other photos that are all royalty-free that I can use, or I can upload one from my computer. So let's say I wanted to go with this one. Click Open. bring that image over and then I select it. There it is there. I hit continue. I click the green button for apply and there's that property. There's that image. Now that image looks a little pixelated. It, it looks a little blurry. So the size isn't the right size, but you can, you could definitely pr play around with it. This form, you want to make sure that this form is going to the right form. So when, when someone comes here and, and opts in, and gives you their name and email, you want to make sure that it's going to the correct form, okay? That form is super, super important because this is a, this is a new page for 121212 Test Avenue. When people come here and enter their name and email, remember I cloned it. I cloned it from a previous property or a previous whatever, right? So I have to change this opt-in form because I don't want people to come in into this new opt-in form and then getting put on the wrong email list. Whatever form this is, is the list determines what list that person is going on to. So that's super, super important. So if you got to create a new opt-in form, you can create a new opt-in form right here. And you can go name it, whatever you want to name it. Test app create. Okay, so that's the new form. So I click on apply. I can also change the fields, the icons. I can change the button. The button says show me more. I could change this to let me in. Let me in, click apply. And there's that change right there. And then I can obviously add a bunch of other stuff. I could drag over stuff, sections. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff over here, you guys. Check out forms, countdown clock. If I wanted to add a countdown clock, I can add that. Um, there's this layout of the countdown clock. There's also another layout of the countdown clock. 
So if I click on that countdown, that's going to bring in all these other types of clocks. So if I drag this over and I just hover over where it's green, I can drop it right there. So now there goes a the countdown clock. Now it's not supposed to go there because it's too small. It's a section, so I can drop it down. Let's see if I drop it right there. Okay, so it's still too big for this area right here. Let's see if I can change the size of it. Style. Okay, so I wouldn't want to put it right there. That's not where I would want to put a countdown clock. Um, but what I can do is I can maybe create a whole new section right below. Let me show you. So if I go to components and I go to co columns, I can bring this column down 100%, 66%. I can choose which size I want to drag over. So if I go to 100% and if I drag this down, drop it where the green is, there's a new column right there. So let's see if I can drag this down and park it there. Okay, so now the countdown clock is in its own column, and now it fits Now it fits good. That's if I wanted it there, and I can look at it mobile. So look, on mobile, it looks really legit. So you want to kind of play around with it. On tablet, that's what it would look like on a tablet, which is really cool too. The desktop is where it just shows more towards the middle. Um, and also what I can do is I can shoot it to the left. Let's see if I can just maybe – actually, no, it stays – centered there, which is fine. But on the mobile, it looks really good on the mobile. It's right there. So I can put a countdown clock right there. Um, and then I can also edit from here as well. And so this timer, fixed date and time, there's all kinds of different ways I can set the timer. What I normally do is I'll do it based on the day or the time that that person lands on it. So for example, that would be on, um, I can go landing date dynamic. So based on landing date dynamic, that's when that clock is going to count down. So when they land on that page for the very first time, it's going to count down. Okay. So I hit five minutes. There's so many different ways you can configure that, but I don't want to confuse you guys. Um, and then all I come down here, all I do is come up here, save progress. And then publish live so now i could take the link and i can customize it to the actual dot com and i could put one two one two one two test test app and now it's tied to my dot com which is listings 904.com forward slash one two one two one so i take that and let's take a look at our page. So this is the way it looks in real time. Okay, so there goes the countdown clock. Okay, and there's different styles of the clock as well. Obviously, I wouldn't put that image. That image doesn't look too clear at all, but you guys get the point. Simple, simple lot uh, um, um, opt-in. And then also, also, if I click on let me in, okay, I, I click on let me in. I got to set up the form. But here's the form over here. So let's get out of here now. So you have pages, which is super important. Anyone that opts into those pages goes on to a specific email list. And that's under my communications. Okay. These are all the different lists that we have set up for the six different properties. Okay, so all those lists right there, all those lists right there will, you know, start to accumulate and we'll start to get people on these lists over here. Then the forms. This is the actual form. So this right here, this first name, email, let me in. That is a form. Okay. And that's these forms over here. So this is the one that I just created. Now I got to configure it and, and, and go through the settings. Okay, but there's one form, one form, one form, one form. All these forms are tied to each specific landing page that is also tied to a very specific email list. 
And then if I ever want to delete it, I can easily just delete a form. And I can also come over here to my pages and I can easily delete the page. Okay, so what I did over here is I cloned the first one, I cloned the second one, and then I used this thank you for scheduling for all of them every time they actually scheduled uh, an appointment. So if I delete that page, then that one's gone. Um, and then everything again is tied to the calendar, which this is her calendar right here. Okay, so everything is in Kartra. So hopefully that helped you guys. That's what I've been spending my last you know day or so on is just creating these simple, simple sales funnels for clients, man. This client right here, thank God for Yasha. Shout out to, to Yasha. She's, she's paying me a good amount, man, to simply run Facebook ads for her and, and manage her, her landing pages and sales funnels. Okay, so I can't be more, I can't be more thankful, man, than, than, than what I am for, for Yasha. So shout out to her. She's out there in Jacksonville just crushing it. Um, and, and I'm just, I'm just on, honored and humbled to, to have such a, a great client. A great client. Now, what do I mean by a great client? A great client is the type of person that understands marketing and understands the need for it and understands the, 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 um, the importance of spending on it. If you guys are freaking dealing with clients that are freaking hesitant to give you 200 bucks, it's like, dude, get lost. Like those are the clients that I have no time for. The client that wants to give you a hundred dollars just to test something. I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? Write a check for a G. Like give me a thousand dollars. Don't give me a hundred. Are you kidding me? What are we, we going to do with a hundred bucks? So those types of clients that don't hesitate and are willing to spend money because they're already making money. Those are my favorite clients, man. Those are my best clients. Those are my favorite clients. The ones that just say here, David, here's the keys to the house. You just go and run with it. And that's this client that I have right here, man. So shout out to Yasha and her whole, her whole team out there in Florida just holding it down. Um, so sales pages, landing, landing pages, sales funnels, email automation, capturing leads, and running Facebook and Instagram ads is what my entire operation here, you guys, consists of. And what I do with my clients is I have them go and set up their own Kartra account using my affiliate link. So I make the money on that as well. Okay. So that's super, super powerful and super important is making sure that they have their own system. Now, some of you guys, you know, create these out of, out of your system, create landing pages and create all this out of your own account. Um, the reason why I don't like doing that is because in my account, I can create as many landing pages, landing pages as I want. I can create as many emails and, and all that as I want. But the thing that, that I don't like is the fact that if I, if I create it with my landing page, then I get the notification when that, e, when that lead opts in, right? I want the client to get that notification. Like if a lead comes in, I want you to get that notification right away. I don't want to get that notification. I don't want to have to forward it to you. You know what I mean? So they need their own account. Um, so they can, they can, they can, they can remain in control of all the assets. All the assets is everything you see here, man. The emails, the list, the freaking sequences, the pages, um, the calendar, all that stuff. You want to give all that to your client. Okay. They're paying you to simply manage it and run it for them. You know, so that's kind of how I run my business is I, I set them up with their own and I, and I work out of their account, which is totally fine. And then Karcher now has another um, service where it's under my agency where you can have multiple clients all in your account, all in one account, and you can manage multiple clients all logged into your account and your account only. So you don't have to log into other people's accounts. So they just released this for agencies like us that have multiple clients. Um, this really wasn't a service that I even offered really to manage landing pages and email auto automation, but this client's paying me a lot of money. They're paying me a lot of money per month to do it all. So I said, shit, I'll, I'll do it all for you. And so this new service that Karcher has, which is my, my agency, I haven't, I haven't invested in this yet, but this just gives you the ability to again, manage multiple clients all in your one account. So you don't have to log into everybody else's. Um, and I'll be looking into that if I do decide to take on more clients like I am now. 
which is really not part of my business plan. My business plan is to teach them how to do it themselves through my digital courses. That's really my whole, my whole bread and butter and my passion is, is selling my course so people can do it themselves. And I tell you the truth, this was one specific client that actually bought my course, went through my course, gave me freaking amazing, amazing, gave me an amazing testimony on my course, but she's so busy, she'd rather have me just do it for her. So that's how we kind of landed, I landed this client. She was actually a membership course student of mine, and she just said, David, can you do this for me? I'll pay you. And so that's where we're at today. So I'm creating all this stuff for her. Um, and we're going to start crushing it with paid traffic. All right, guys. So hopefully that helped. Go out there and continue to close your deals. Make your money. Keep it simple and have fun, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over now.